I bought this doormat on Wayfair because I wanted something to go outside of our camper to wipe your feet off on. I wanted it to be kind of plain and simple and kind of match. This one wasn't mine. I forgot to take a before picture. But I thought the S in the middle for Stovall would show. And it didn't. And it's been on my nerves since January 5th, the day that, it, that I got it in. So I decided I would just use my golden... Uh, fluid acrylics because I have them with me on this trip. I'm in Red Bay, Alabama whenever I'm doing this here. Um, at the end when I show the picture of the camp of the camper, we're actually in someplace in Mississippi at a state park. Um, so we traveled with it and it's out there on the ground now and I'm and I'm very happy with it. I'll probably do it again in the near future. It's one of those things you can change the color on anytime and I'll probably change it to the burgundy or maybe even blue for the Mountaineers or purple for the LSU Tigers. But what a, the whole gist of it is, anything that you don't like and you're not happy with, you can change it with paint. I have uh, front door mats at home that have birds painted on them that I really, really love that I've had a couple of years. And when I get home, I'm going to paint those too. So just know that you can take your regular Dixie Bell paint or your regular acrylic paints and you can paint your rugs and it's going to be beautiful and you're going to love it and when you're tired of it you just change it back. I hope you enjoy and I would love to know where you're watching from and if you ever customize your uh, rugs or floor mats or whatever you want to call it. Thanks.